So today we're here in the Annapolis Boat Show and we're checking out the latest innovation from Seakeeper. We have Victor Gonzalez from Sportsman Boat here to tell us all about it. How are you doing, Victor? I'm doing great. Thanks for stopping by. So when we talk about Seakeeper, everybody thinks about the gyro, but what was the uh, initial thought from Seakeeper? Yeah, absolutely. So the first thing to understand about Seakeeper, right, it is, it is not a gyro, right? So you got to take that out of the equation altogether. It's a brand new product in a brand new segment. Um, and the story goes something like, you know, this was actually the original product that Seakeeper went out to market, in, you know, 15 years ago. Um, technology wasn't there at the time, and so they've been developing for over 15 years to get to where we are today, and that's what we have on these on these boats here today. So let's explain some of the technology with the ride right here. Absolutely. So the, the system is measuring what the boat is doing on the water 100 times a second, and what it does is creates a counter um, you know, um, algorithm to figure out how to offset the movement of the boat. Now, it does not work when the boat is not moving, right? So the faster the boat is moving, the more the system can actually um, act on the boat. And that's a big difference between the gyro and the, and the ride. But the system is working so fast that it reacts even before you feel what's coming because it's constantly measuring what the boat is doing, you know, at that moment and making an adjustment on the fly. The actuators are mounted in the transom of the boat. There's two of them on either side. They go where traditional trim tabs would go. And what they do, they can move from zero deployment to 100% deployment in just a tenth of a second. So they are very, very, very quick. And beyond that, there's other features that allow you to get the boat up on plane faster. There's other features that allow you to do um, a lot of things on the boat, like create a, a, a list if you wanted to. See conditions need you to have a little bit of a list, the same that you would with traditional trim tabs. You can also add that to the system. But overall, it's created to be 100% autonomous. As a customer, you do not need to worry about the system at all. You just turn the boat, and you go boating. And that is the, the I think the, the best thing about the system it's intended to be. And this is a very economical system as well, correct? Yeah, absolutely. So we actually see better fuel performance um, on, on high-end top speed runs because the boat is able to hold the perfect angle and hit at the perfect angle every single time, as opposed to having to throttle up and down in rough conditions. We see being able to go faster and faster cruise in, in rougher conditions. And overall, the fuel performance is actually better because you don't have that constant movement of the boat that's creating more and less drag, which makes the engine work harder um, at times. So it, it is actually an improvement overall. And, and I mean, the ride difference is incredible. It really is, you have to experience it. So Victor, when we talk about Seakeeper, you really have a special relationship with Sportsman, correct? We do. Yeah, so we they're one of our, our key partners and we've designed in gyros into our larger models um, and on the ride system, it's the same thing. Our plan is over the next three years, we're gonna have Seakeeper ride standard across the entire lineup. Um, and they, it, the system, the ride system, can work with the gyro at the same time to create the ultimate platform. So we are very excited to see it work in our bigger boats that you can have a gyro in and have the gyro and the ride working together to create the absolute best boating experience out there. So there you have it, folks. Amazing technology. Sportsman's at the lead with Seakeeper. you got to check it out for yourself.